Uh, I saw this story, and I think it's worth talking about. Uh, ben Lieber um, is a current sideline reporter. He's a former Minnesota Viking. One of my constant themes has been, I think over the last year, and if you watch The Herd uh, on TV or listen on radio, about how the game is changing. Quarterbacks make more. They want more. Uh, the, it's an offensive league. Pete Carroll has struggled. He struggled with Russ. Belichick last couple of years with Brady. Um, Brian Flores got fired, struggled with Tua. And I was told after the season this year, I think it was after the season, from somebody I trusted uh, in the Minnesota kind of ecosystem, um, that Zimmer and Kirk Cousins really had a chilly, chilly relationship. And so Ben Lieber, the former Viking linebacker, came out this weekend and said Mike Zimmer did not like Kirk Cousins. And it's interesting because the Vikings' defense last year was ranked 30th and Kirk Cousins' offense was ranked 12th. And the Vikings only had one double-digit loss all season. Do you know that's the fewest in the NFL? Um, they had eight one-possession losses. That was the most in the NFL, two more than any other team. That's why I picked the Vikings this year to be my surprise team in the NFL, 13, 14 wins. I think they're going to be great. Um, they got the tall Sean McVay as their new coach. This is what I've been saying about um, Pete and Bill and Vic Fangio. And I think Carson Wentz is going to hear this from Ron Rivera, is that the culture's change. Quarterbacks make more. They want to be respected more. Uh, and they want more of a voice. And... You know, it's funny about Kirk Cousins. Does he have a lower ceiling? Yes. Does he shrink? But if you look at the Vikings last year, and I want you to look at them this year, outside of the game at Buffalo, their schedule's very favorable. The tougher games are mostly at home, and their road games are very winnable at Philly, at the Saints, at the Dolphins, at the Commanders. Um, really winnable games. But I think more than that, if you've ever had a boss who was rigid, and I think Zimmer's a good coach, but a little rigid, and you didn't think he trusted you, I absolutely think it affects performance. And I think Kirk Cousins, whose personality can shrink in big games anyway, if you look at their season last year, they lost a couple of overtime games. They were just not very good late. And I think that's going to be the game changer, is that Minnesota is has a... Kirk's got a little contract extension. He's got an offensive coach. The offensive coach is a fresh set of eyes and ears. And my takeaway is this story by Ben Lieber, the former Viking linebacker, is something I heard last year, which is, and it, it's not like some, uh, you know, Jay Glazer scoop here, but Zimmer and Kirk Cousins just did not connect. And I think that's the greatest challenge for defensive coaches is that I still think many of the principles of a defensive coach win. But things are changing, and it's becoming more of an offensive game, and you got to lighten up. Um, in fact, you know, I had Cooper Cup on. He said he wishes Sean McVay was meaner. Um, you know, these Zach Taylors, Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay, Matt LaFleur, uh, good listeners, very much about the psychology and elevating quarterbacks, making quarterbacks feel comfortable. Uh, it matters. And I think Kirk Cousins is going to have a big year. I think the Vikings are going to have an exceptional year. And I'm going to go out on a limb, 13-4 and four or 14-3. and three. I know you think I'm out of my mind. Don't trust the Bears. Don't trust the Lions. And they have always, since Kirk Cousins has been there, they have always played Aaron Rodgers straight up.